Hey guys, it's Tom Box. Welcome to MC.TV. Today we're cracking open a box of Chaos Impact. It's really cold in here. The cards on my desk, they're basically starting to warp. And uh, aside from that, my want list is up there. You can see that I want a Blue Tang from the Blue Tang Clan and I want Star Leech Seyfert of the Star Leech Clan. If I get both of them, it's a god box in my opinion. If I get neither, well, this box is, well, going into the trash. Aside from that, I gotta show you guys something before the end of this video is how I keep my collection organized. You guys open boxes and boxes of stuff. How do you keep it all organized? Do I want to keep a place out of everything? Well, I personally do, and you guys get to see some of the magnificent stuff inside of these boxes later on in this video. So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit subscribe, ding notification bell, because if you don't, I believe Nishi's doing some sort of giveaway as well. I didn't really pay attention, but apparently we're giving away cards now. I don't know where he's getting all that money because I am still living dirt poor and how is he uh, getting away with the giving away stuff? So he's handling some of the giveaway stuff so if I see a comment down there that resonates with me and uh, you've hit that like button, well guess what? I will. I'll well, choose you to be a person that I'll send a card to. Anyways, let's crack this box wide open. Boom, this pack is now ready to be opened. Now, for those of you guys wondering how I'm gonna get your information to ship you guys a pack, well, I'm gonna DM you in some way or form. I'm gonna leave a comment in your comment, and then I'm going to DM you through Discord. That's the easiest way. And uh, yeah, let's just dump these cards out. All right, let's go. I'm not gonna like read through every single card this time. So we've got Brian Gear. Let's put it right here. Have a good. Oh my God! There's so many Dream Mirrors. Stop. <sighs> Beast Battle. I guess I should make three piles. There we go. Got things in focus, and you guys don't really care about the rest of them. So we're just gonna go through the rares and the foil. <sighs> Please don't make me throw this stuff into the trash. Boom! Peaceful burial! Alright, that's time to bury all these cards in the trash bin! I always call this card Namakia. It's, well, it's Namakia, but I call it Namakiato, so it's a new drink at Starbucks. It's available this season of Chaos Impact. Alright, bye bye damage. Watch train. We have this card Suppression Collide. Oh my god, no! <sighs> Ah, this is uh, probably the uh, weakest of secret rares. We have Unchained Soul of Anguish. Let's get a close up on this one. Yeah, pretty card. Back down you go. And uh, there's secret number one. Unfortunate for Tom Box. Oh boy. I shuffled up the packs before I actually uh, set it up. So I don't know if this whole box is mapped or not. Uh, let's just do this. Oh, glad bees come back. Of course, there's gonna be a ton of these. Have a good idea. Okay, so there's Marine says Mandarin. Um, I actually need a couple of these because most of my cards are borrowed from the deck profile. Battle Ocean, Full Turn, Astral Ghouls. That's good. I hear that these ones are actually short. Some of these rares are actually kind of short printed. So we'll we'll find out if it's, that's true or not. Cauldron of the Old Man, Congrate, uh, Rakea, and the rest of them. Let's move on. Gotta do this one quickly. See if, how, if this is gonna be my fastest opening. Suppression Collider, Crusher Run, G Gizmek? Gizmek? Sorry, Gizmek is a bit of an inside joke, but um, every single time Phil activates Gizmek, he, uh, he does a really stupid face, so uh, it kind of resonates with us now. So, yeah, that's that. See if we can get the focus right. This is a new lens, guys. I'm trying to really work things out here. And the rest of it, you don't really care. Jelly Cannon. Alright, here we go. Double banking. Here we go! Nope. Gizmic again. And, uh, Sakatari. And the rest of it, meh. Please, hook me up. Konami! Glad we's come back. Wait. Huh! Of course. Onera, Stream Mirror, Errol King. Errol King apparently means a fairy king of some sort. And we got Unchained. And let's move these cards out of the way. So these ones uh, don't really matter. Let's just keep these two together. 
Chop ham, chop chop. Ah, uh, don't can't even read it. Oh, Dream Mirror Foe. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Ashuna, that's a good 10 heat card. And at the very least, I got something like that crown tail and all that stuff. Let's just move on. We're beyond, you're beyond looking at these cards. <sighs> Prismatic, please. Oh, I already got to the card. All right, here's our first Ultra. We have Draco Berserk of the 10 heat. That's a good Ultra. There's like, there's like four good Ultras or so. Uh, if you're just hunting for generic stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's, that's one of the good ones. That's a really good synchro too. You just banish your opponent's card when they activate a monster effect. Defender's tag, Brutal Dozer. Action magic. Too strong. Burning shell and Galaxy Satellite Dragon. I believe that's a necessity for uh, those uh, guard dragon or those rocket dragon decks. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Lunar Light, Luna Sp Dark Spirit, it's a card that you should all hold on to. I feel like Thunder Dragons are gonna play it. It's, it's just, it's just White Dragon. Crusher Run. Let's get rid of these cards. Mind Strong and Crystal Heart. Okay, so yeah, there's the guy. Gladiator Beast Charge. I play one copy of that in my deck. I'll show you guys how I'm going to be playing Gladiator Beast. It's gonna be the, my off deck that I'm just gonna have ready to pick up at any point. Or if someone wants to borrow a deck, they can borrow my Glad Beast deck. All right. Chop, chop, chop. Congrate. Astorix. And actually my favorite dragon, my one of my favorite cards of the entire set, Galactic Spiral Dragon. Seriously, if you're gonna play rank eight spam, try to shove this in Heratics and put in uh, all those uh, dragon uh, reju super rejuvenations in there. It's really good. Anyways, Heratics are meant to play super rejuve anyway, but let's keep going. Uh, let's see this. There it is. Oh, I actually never got a copy of this rare. That's kind of neat. Well, who cares? We, what we have seen so far is one ultra, one secret, and we've gone through half the box. Oh my god, please don't become one of those worst box open videos. Well, if the title already says it, then we already know it's too late. The damage is done. I've lost confidence in my polls. It was Gorgon, the Empress of the Evil. Jelly Cannon! And... Jelly Cannon, my favorite battle trap of all time now. Just unicorn.trap. Alright. Protocol Guard. Uh, spiral. Huh! Old Mind. I consider playing this card as an Autinibiru. It's possible that you can do this. Because you, I believe you choose both discarded cards. So it's pretty neat. Huh! Nope. Dream Mirror. Phantasos. And Monster Express. Moving along. If I see the world, I will the world. Please, watch rain. Come back. Oh, Unchained Abomination. It's a decent card, not the best. Where's my Masquerade? Where's my Ib? Or actually, the one card I'm actually missing, uh, Striker Dragon. I actually don't have a single copy just now. Unlike most of the other tubers, I can't pick up everything in one go. I just don't have that kind of money. I'm working two jobs. You know, I'm just another regular guy like you guys, so. Just let, let, let a man hustle. Let a man hustle. Here we go. DD Skull Plane. Okay. Ugh. What? Of course. Wow, a playset. Of course. I expected a playset. I think this thing was like overprinted. And moving on. Is there prismatic? Is there prismatic? Please. Oh, Dream of Phantasms. Neuromancy, this is a very Dream Mirror base pack. It's, uh, I think I'm getting out of focus again. Please, crush a run. Sea Angel. Bye bye damage. And oh my god. Well, might as well put the rest into the trash because uh, this stuff is now completely dead. Uh, congratulations for those of you guys who did not hit the like button. You guys won. But you know what? Let's go through the rest of them. Maybe there's a third secret or maybe there's even a prismatic. And still have two more ultras to go. So maybe the ultras will make up for the, the losses I have just suffered. Just... 
don't, 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 don't do me like this. Okay, okay, no real dragon. Oh. The moment of death. I am now I have been defeated, and defeating a sandwich only makes it tastier. Test Panther! That's one of my ultras. I got one ultra left, and uh, two packs, so pretty good odds of seeing an ultra very soon. There it is. Another Unchained Abomination. Now, I've heard rumors, and they could be very much true, that um, some of the cards are short printed. And uh, it does seem like it's the case here where I did not get Striker Dragon. I got a double copy of an Ultra rather than like four different ones. Not liking those odds. And oh, there's uh, of course a Sweet Marjoram and another Vespasis. Okay, well that, uh, well that makes sure that this stuff goes straight into the trash. And okay, you know what, let's sort this stuff out and then we'll talk about how I keep my collection organized. The Wild Well, hope you guys enjoyed that part. Now, I kind of want to know something about the rares. Most of these rares, you're not going to get very many doubles. Like, Marine Cess, a Mandarin, there's only one copy. A Shuna, one copy. A lot of the ones that you want three of, I only got one copy. And a lot of the ones that you only want one of, you got more. You got doubles of most of the cards that you're not going to run. So that part is kind of sad. F smells a little fishy. Maybe I'm just that unlucky. Maybe this is the worst box opening ever, and I just dodged all the good cards and got all the easy pulls very unfortunate tom box and time to throw this stuff out so like i said boom trashed away did it and let's take a look at one of the boxes in the back okay so i have right here a couple of boxes i pulled off of my shelves so i've actually labeled each of these boxes with like a penny sleeve so this is a foil for monsters and this is my stack and uh, let's just go ahead and take a look. So inside this box is, whoa, that is not something I want you guys to see. There we go. So I've got A to G. I think G is the ending here. So how I organized it is like this. So the front would be all the effect monsters. And anything that is a pendulum, they would go to the back. So that's how I kind of split it. And then for extra deck monsters or like weird monster card types like rituals and infusions and stuff like that, they go into like a separate box entirely so that it's, you're not going to get mixed up by looking through fusions and whatnot. So starting with A, of course, we have A Assault Core. And then we just keep on going from there. And everything is in a penny sleeve. I think there's mixed rarities in here. I believe some of them are like, yeah. So just whatever that is foil and you don't want to put into a binder. I usually keep about four copies of everything. Uh, one for just a placeholder and the other three as a play set. So that, that way I won't like miss out on like the positioning. And uh, that's kind of the way I go about this. So everything from the extras. As for anything above those many copies, if it's like a staple card or a really good card that has value, well, good value cards go in a binder, but like if it's like something that is decent enough to be considered a staple, I usually keep more copies of them. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the way it goes. D, the boys. I even keep some of the worst of the worst. Uh, let's see what I got in C. Uh, C, Crush Wyvern, Calm. Ah, look here, here. The good old classic Caravan of the Ice Barrier. Good old Hidden Arsenal 3. So that's how far back. I've got a couple empty sleeves here. It's probably because I uh, probably pulled those cards out. So yeah, I got some Evil Eye cards. And uh, at the end of each video, that's kind of what I'm doing. Just sorting this stuff out. Hold it! I didn't sort most of my cards. It was mainly my fiance that did most of the card sorting. I set up the crazy little system that we have so far. And uh, she just rolled with it. And... Uh, 
she just came over and just started going through multiple days of card sorting to get my collection as it is right now so you know Huge thank you to you. Love you, care. And uh, back to where we were. And what about European cards? Or like, what about those uh, foreign language cards? I'm stick strictly sticking with English. So if they have their English name, uh, I will try to position it within their English name. So that it, that will make it a lot more consistent. And just figure out what you're doing with punctuations. Play set of uh, a bunch of stuff here. This is like this is as far back as my collection would go in terms of monster. Basically everything in a penny sleeve. You need about like. A hundred dollars worth of penny sleeves if you want to uh, kind of like just start out an entire collection of every single card of Yu-Gi-Oh! Probably, and then double that because there's foil versions of cards and uh, that should cover all cases because this is my foil only box. But uh, I also have my other boxes. This one is the non-foil box number four. So. I try to avoid putting lettering in here because the boxes will start shifting. And for those of you guys who are like, oh, I don't want to use single column boxes. I use those four row boxes. That's fine. I got you covered. I've got these other dividers that I've made. C, D, E, F, G. And they all are a little taller than the actual uh, cards themselves. And they stick out pretty nicely. And uh, they have lettering on them so that you guys can just go ahead and dig through your collection that way. Make sure you penny sleeve all your cards because if you don't penny sleeve them, the cardboard box will scrape the edges and if it scrapes what's gonna happen is gonna look something like this I'm just gonna grab a, one of these cards here DD seeker now if it scrapes a lot on the cardboard like if it scrapes a lot it starts eating in and you'll start to see or I guess you can't really see there's a white background but it starts to fray up the edges and um, it starts to make the card look thicker than it is and uh, that's slowly considering light play and stuff like that. You guys want to avoid that because your collection is worth some money. And this is my foil spells. Kind of the same deal. This one's much tightlier packed because I this one goes from A, like A to Z all the way through. Because let's face it, Yu-Gi-Oh! Half the set are monsters. Uh, and then the other quarter would be spells. And the last quarter would be traps. So that's kind of the full rundown of monsters, spells, and traps. And uh, I have the same thing running for uh, basically uh, all the uh, non-foils as well. And that's kind of how I sort my stuff in anything extra. Those boxes here, those are all bulk. Like, they just get traded in into a store. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys don't just throw out your bulk because uh, stores will take them in. Common bulk and foil bulk, split them in that order, which is where this bulk is going. Uh, later on, but this is my collection. That's kind of what's going on in the back It's not just some sort of crazy background if you guys want to print out this stuff If you guys want the link just go to my discord leave me a message and I'll upload these uh, dividers so that you guys can print them out at your local I don't know print shop staples whatever and then you can just cut them up and uh, use them to keep your collection organized So that is my rundown of that if you guys enjoyed that part as well Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed my pack opening and hit the subscribe button to stay tuned up to date with perhaps some live duels with the most recent decks. It's really hard to get live duels going, but I'm going to do my best to see if I can get some opponents that are competent with their decks and uh, showcase to you guys uh, which one of these decks are perhaps the most meta relevant. We'll see very soon. i got more deck profiles coming. As soon as I get my safers, man, that card is hard to hunt. But uh, soon, very soon, I'll have a full playset of that and the blue tangs, and it'll be all good. Unfortunately, not today, my friend. Not today. And I'll see you guys in the next one.